and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bikes on the road and if the e-bike is going to be on the road as most of them are sold for on road or off road but I'm talking in this video about on road I think that the e-bike should be equipped to be on the road and right now they're not not all of them anyway there may be some but and what I mean by equipped I'm going to tell you here but first I when I say equipped for the road, I mean when they're sold to you, not you having to go out and buy and put on these other, uh, these extras. They should be already sold, ready for the road, because let's face it, if you're gonna be out on the road, you wanna be safe and should be safe. Just like a car, you know, they, they come equipped. And what I'm saying about equipped is, and I've done videos on this before, but I'm gonna harp on it again here. One of the things that should be basically, to me, mandatory on all e-bikes, especially the ones that are going to be on the road, is signal lights or turn signals. I don't know why all bikes aren't equipped with turn signals, the ones at least that are for the road. because I don't think we should be using hand signals. I think that's old school and we should be moving on from that. We should have two hands on the handlebars. Maybe I'm in the minority, but two hands on the handlebars and just with the turn of a, a switch here, we should be able to turn a left or right signal light on. And then the other Thing is the rest of the lights there should be there should be a brake light that is clearly visible I'm not a big fan of the flashing lights because I think a brake a brake light should be a solid uh, bright red light just like a car has and I think those are the best to see rather than a flashing light because a flashing light is is like your hazard signals, right? And um, that's completely different, I think. So I think it should have uh, the turn signals, it should have brake light, and then you should have a good, if you're riding at night, tail light and a good headlight. None of these, you know, semi-bright headlights. It should be a good bright one. Like this bike here has the best headlight I've seen on an e-bike. Um, on this, uh, I'm riding the uh, Lyric Graffiti right now. This light is the best. If they put this kind of light on all the bikes, we'd be good right there. And then, uh, something else that they should put on is a good loud enough for cars to hear horn no little dingy bell you know like that they're going to hear you on a pedestrian uh walk uh path but they're not going to hear you on the road if we're going to be on the road we should have a horn that we can be heard and maybe how about a horn that has an adjustable volume so then if we are on a bike path sharing it with pedestrians we're not going to scare them by blowing our horn loudly you know if we have we have, if we have different tone levels i think that'd be great and then we could turn it down you know when we're on a pedestrian uh, walkway or walking uh, path that we share with the cyclists 
and then you're not going to uh, scare the bejeebers out of somebody. Maybe I'm way off base here, but this is what I think, because if we're on the road, we're sharing the road with cars, even if we're in the bike lane, there's not always a bike lane like in this road I'm on now. There's no bike lane. It's a side road, side street, but it's not a, there's no bike lane, so I'm riding right in the center. And I should have lights, just like the car does, just like a motorcycle does. Just because we're not licensed for the road, the bike is still on the road, legally, and we're sharing the road. So why shouldn't we be equipped as such, you know? Uh, but uh, let me know in the comments uh, your opinions on this. Am I way off base? What do you think? These are just my opinions, of course. Wow. And everybody uh, has their own opinions on things, so. And then one other thing I think we should have on all bikes. By the way, there's no horn on this bike. There's no turn signals on this bike. And then the other thing I'm going to speak of right now is mirrors. I think all bikes should come standard with mirrors. I know you can buy them and have them put on, but I think all of these things should be on the bike. when you buy it. It shouldn't be an option, it should be mandatory or standard. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of that. Are you in agreement? Would you like to see turn signals, brake light, headlight, taillight, mirrors, and a horn on every e-bike that is sold that is for the street? If it's an off, strictly an off-road bike, no. You don't need it. But if you're sharing the road, in my opinion, yes. So go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. That's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, it's just about every day. I try uh, to get them up and I've been in uh, pretty good on that uh, for quite a while now. So uh, pretty much every day at 9 a.m. local time here in the Pacific Northwest. So that would be noon eastern time is usually the time that i put the video up so just hit that notification bell and you'll get a notification that the video has come up otherwise like i say they usually uh, i usually run them at 9 a.m local time and that'd be 12 o'clock in the east unless i do a premiere which i have done a few if i do a premiere then that'll be later prime time probably five o'clock local, eight o'clock Eastern PM. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.